Harold from Harold Automotive in uh, answering those burning car questions in a segment we like to call You Auto Know. Mike, welcome back. Thanks for me yeah, thanks for being here. Uh, we're going to get to the questions, but don't forget, we want to talk about diapers for wipers coming up at the end of the segment. I love this one. <laughs> All right. But let's get to the first question. And this one, uh, I believe, is coming from Heather. Okay, uh, I take my fur baby everywhere. She likes to ride shotgun in my passenger seat. When she's in the seat, the airbag disabled light is on because she's only 60 pounds. How can I have my puppy in the front seat and not have my airbag disabled light on? Is it possible? No. Okay, yeah. I would it's say for it's safety reasons, right? Exactly. Yeah. Um, we don't want to mimic or uh, fool the airbag system being a safety system. Sure. We want to allow that system to work the way it's designed. And if it says that, if it feels the person in that passenger seat is not heavy enough or not big enough um, to deploy that airbag, then it could be dangerous if it did deploy. Yeah. So I'm happy when uh, I also take our fur babies just about everywhere. Yeah. and. Our poppy, our youngest, loves to be in the front seat. So she rides shotgun with me, so I understand, Heather. And that light will always turn on. Um, the other thing that will happen too, sometimes I have an issue with the seatbelt buckle light. Yes, that's what happens right? with when, when my pup is in the yeah. front seat, because she's 70 some pounds, so she's she's okay with the airbag sensor, but the seatbelt, sometimes Correct. I buckle it behind yeah. her. So I would, I would not be an advocate for modifying your airbag system Got at it. all. Um, just allow it to shut off and it is only shutting off the passenger airbag at that point. Okay. Um, if you notice the light would probably say passenger present system disabled or passenger airbag disabled. Um, generally the other airbags in the system are going to work. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. All right, a next question I believe is coming from Craig. Uh, he has a long question here. 2011 <laughs> Hyundai Tucson, 174,000 miles. He says he's pretty religious about changing the oil at that 3,000 mile intervals. The last time though, he used a synthetic oil and he said now it's very noisy. Uh, before the switch, I had a light tapping noise and now it's louder. Is the synthetic oil causing my noise to be louder? And should I switch back to conventional oil? Kara, I did reach out to Craig and we got some extra information about okay, this. Um, great. I had a question about what weight oil he used when he did his own oil change. Um, and he did change up the weight of the oil. It's a little thinner than what he's used in the past. So before I would contribute the noisier engine to the synthetic oil, um, I would probably try changing it back to the weight that he had prior, which I believe was a 520 not synthetic is what he was okay. using. Um, 5W20, which is the weight of the oil. Okay. Um, it's just how well that oil will flow at zero degrees and then also at a higher temperature, say in the summertime. Okay. Right? Because that oil is going to flow a little bit differently. So we have to grade how it's going to flow. Interesting. Both in those temperatures. All right. Um, so probably not the oil being synthetic, but the weight of the change in the weight of oil for him was okay. his issue. Well, Craig got his questions answered from the expert there. And again, you can uh, submit your questions to ask at yououghtoknow.org. These are real questions with real answers uh, coming to you. And we always appreciate Mike and the folks at Harrell Automotive. But let's hear about it. Uh, diapers for wipers. This is a really great campaign that's happening right now. I love it. And the response has been overwhelming. We have boxes and bags of diapers everywhere, well. <laughs> <laughs> which is great. I am not complaining about that. Our goal is 25,000 diapers. Wow. And that's a lot of packages of diapers. Basically what it is, while you're in for service with us, if you bring us a pack of diapers, we will give you installed free at no charge, two wiper blades for your vehicle. Wow. Um, they're the regular wiper blades that we install for all of our customers. So it's a good quality blade. It's not a cheap blade. We're not giving mm. away something that you're not going to be able to use the same as if you bought it from us. Yeah, and, bla and wiper blades get kind of worn this time of year, right? Right? So this would be a great opportunity. For Especially folks. with the inclement weather, now's a time where we start seeing the streaking yeah. or we can't see well through that front window. Okay. Wipers and, are something we should be touching. And quickly tell us where all the diapers are going. They're not going, just for your personal use. No, not <laughs> at all. So we've partnered with the Diaper Depot, which okay. is a national network, um, which is a national organization that networks with local organizations great. here to distribute those diapers within our community. They're not getting shipped off somewhere else. And there is a huge need of size four, five, and six diapers. Okay. Not so much the, the little preemie diapers. They have an overabundance of those. Okay. But size four, five, and six. And you great. can get two free wiper blades installed on your car. That's great. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate you being here. Thanks we'll for having back. me.